Hi, everybody. It's Mark Russian of markrushin.com. It is Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. A little bit bigger video today because my Piazza Barrel pickup arrived today. And so I kind of want to I'm going to show you it. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to play it. I, I I may provide samples of that later on in a finished piece or something like that. But I just want to talk about the process of 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 choosing this and how I got to this and and getting it and playing with it and everything like that. So it arrived probably about an hour and a half ago from uh, Brisbane, Australia. It took about a week and a half to arrive, which was perfectly fine. <laughs> and uh, so I guess I don't know how long ago it was. Uh, several weeks ago, I bought a bass clarinet, which I played in like junior high and high school. I played it for, I think about five years in a uh, concert band and, uh, you know, obviously a very beautiful instrument. I got very lucky and I found a very nice one on eBay, which with shipping was almost $500. And this cat just, uh, can't contain herself. <laughs> it's like, oh, Hey, what's this? Oh, oh, the case is open. Can I go sleep in it, right? And so I got the bass clarinet. Very lucky that it was in uh, good condition, very playable condition. And then from that point, I was kind of like, well, how do I go? And how do I go and get that sound into my Empress boxes? I have both the reverb and the echo system. Absolutely love them for uh, playing, you know, app music from the apps that I use, running them through those boxes there. This is no secret how I work. <laughs> um, but I have my favorite settings and everything like that. So I was like, how do I get, do I have to mic, do I have to mic the bass clarinet? What do I need to do? And then just searching around very quickly, I found the Piazza Barrel website and um, contacted uh, Stephen, the, uh, creator of this and he was able to, I said, well, I don't want to do like the, I, I don't really have the ability to, to drill into get a mouthpiece, drill into it and all do all this. So he had a bass clarinet mouthpiece. Uh, it, was a, it was a Yamaha and uh, it was set up here with the, uh, I'll show you here in just a second here. So, I unplug. so it's got, A uh, little hole there for the uh, the pickup to screw into there, and of course <laughs> you can really got to move that. Is that the is that the ligature? Is that the name? I always forget the name of these things. So I had to really uh, unscrew that one to get that over that particular hole here, and then I'm going to have to get a uh, a mouthpiece cover with the back cut out because <laughs> it kind of kind of gets stuck on there. But we'll worry about that later. Um, and then, yeah, here's just the little, uh, this is the little pickup with the, uh, you know, eighth inch out or whatever size that is. And you just screw in there. And then I guess there are some settings in there that he sent me a PDF manual, but this thing was, uh, perfectly fine out of the box and, uh, just screw that right in there. And then there's a, an eighth out. Ran it into, uh, I just ran it into the reverb. I just ran my green ghost with my various settings. Yeah, these are some of the settings. <laughs> they change all the time and played into it. Absolutely fantastic. And then I switched over to the delay and reverb and some of the other options on there and was, uh, uh, and then, you know, ran it back through my headphones, not these headphones, good headphones. And uh, was, completely thrilled with the sound that I was getting out of that. Um, the idea that you can go and um, delay a bass clarinet or add significant reverb to it is, is, uh, it's just uh, nothing, nothing short of an incredible to, to do that sort of thing. That's pretty amazing. And uh, so it arrived just in this little, uh, this little box here, everything was well packed. Um, the little piezo barrel had its own little package, and uh, I even had—I think it even had like a yeah—came in the little 
one of these things. And that's one of the, that's the uh, screw or screw or the whatever, the bit that was in the mouthpiece that I had to take out. And then there's a, uh, there's your QR codes right there. Is that right? Yeah. Pizza barrel and Facebook. Yeah. Designed for wind and brass instrument. Uh, sorry, designed for wind and brass players who want to use guitar effects pedals or just need amplification for live venues. Made in Australia. They are suitable for a variety of instruments such as clarinet, bass clarinet, sax, trumpet, and low brass, as well as folk instruments such as didgeridoo. Yeah, you work on your circular breathing there. So, uh, yeah, Stephen Francis, there, there's the card. Let's see if I can get that up there. Will it, uh, anyway, I provided a link here in the description. Absolutely thrilled. And how much was the whole shebang here? The pickup and the mouthpiece um, together with the uh, conversion was a 218 US dollars. I think, I can't remember exactly what it was in Australian dollars, but it came out to be about $218. Perfectly happy with the price. This is amazing. So uh, uh, I'm going to get a lot of use out of this here. Uh, I think I'm going to take it up and John and I are going to mess around with it tonight at his studio and uh, just start uh, kicking out things. Um, yeah, I don't want to play the, the bass clarinet conventionally. I have absolutely no interest in doing that. That's not why I bought that instrument. I, I want it to be sort of a minimalist, uh, you know, kind of ambient bass clarinet with the effects. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. So I don't know whether I'll be... Uh, making pieces based on the bass clarinet or whether those will be woven into the electronics or something like that. I would imagine that both will probably happen. So that's, uh, that's, that's the plans anyway. It's super simple. Uh, this thing takes, you know, no time to, f to put together. All you got to do is, you know, suck on a reed for a few minutes and get it on there, hook up, hook up all your wires and you're ready to go. So Anyway, I'll play with this later. I have the day job to deal with and I got to go to the dentist and, and you know, it's just, it's, it's never ending, but totally thrilled, totally thrilled with the, uh, the piezo barrel. Just, I, I played with it just for a couple of minutes with the settings. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Incredible. And of course these things are incredible too. So uh, good, a good day, right? <laughs> No cavities. I hope I have no cavities that make it even better. I always try to please the dentist, you know. All right. That is it for today. It is uh, Wednesday, May 19, 2021. And uh, well, see you tomorrow or see you on the next video.